All right, hello. I am Alex Karulin, and I worked with Max Campbell and Lulu Pinsauer in order to create an object detecting camera mounted on a swiveling mount that is able to track and follow a moving target. So some of the main principles and strategies that were required for this project include object detection, filtering these detections, uh, tracking, and of course the hardware element, uh, which are the, comprised of the Arduino and the servo. And some of the main technologies that we used include the COCO dataset, which came pre-trained for us, which is very convenient. Uh, then we used OpenCV to grab frames from a live video stream. And that actually worked pretty well together with Darknet, which is an open source uh, neural network framework uh, implemented and designed by our very own professor, Joseph Redman. And then we use an Arduino for controlling the hardware components, uh, which is basically just the servo. And that function as the motor for the swiveling mount. And another bit of pre-existing code worth mentioning is servo easing, which is actually a library that helped us play around uh, with different easing functions for smooth camera movement. And as far as what we ourselves programmed, um, other than trying to make all these pieces work together well, was determining the bounding box area to figure out who to track. And we decided to always track the biggest box uh, for our application. And oftentimes it just means tracking whoever the closest person is to the camera. We just figured that this made the most sense to us. Um, we also had to keep track of the center point of a moving object so that we knew when to move the camera. And for this, we decided that it was just once it escapes the inner 25% of the camera's field of view, uh, that is when we send instructions to the Arduino so that we can actually move the camera. Um, after that, we have to pass instructions to the Arduino using serial communication protocol over a USB connection. And finally, we need to process those instructions into target degree offsets and move the servo accordingly to the correct position. And we think the project came together quite well. And we do think it has some broader applications. Uh, the main one being tracking things other than a person. And it really, it can really just be anything you want um, because you can just specify the data set specify for the data set to look for something. It, it could really be anything that moves. Basically, like you can make it a cat, dog, whatever pet you want. Um, you could have it be a high-tech deer tracking game camera, <laughs> just whatever whatever you want it to be. Um, you could also use it for vehicles, so it could, you know, it could track planes in the sky or a car moving. Um, an interesting application that we thought of was also maybe filming athletics. So maybe you could like film an athlete running or something like that without having to actually like have someone manually moving the camera because our software would able to just be able to follow this person. Um, and another trivial extension that we thought of is to just add an extra axis of rotation. Um, so this would just allow for us to tilt our camera up and down uh, based on the object's location. And this is pretty similar to what we've already done. It would just mainly include adding a, another servo and just send some more instructions to the Arduino so that we can move up and down as well as left and right. Um, so we thought that this might be just a fun little side project for another time. Um, but yeah, we had a lot of fun working on this and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.